Is Forza Horizon 5 good with a steering wheel? I thought I would investigate while playing the unfinished preview ahead of the early November release date. Thanks to the Forza Horizon 5 preview event, I was able to explore the Mexico map, check out the car collection and get a good feel for the game. All mostly good so far, but what about steering wheels? Will they work better this time? I mean, some cars could lap Goliath absurdly fast while using a steering wheel. I, for instance, made a video about that using the Ferrari 599XX Evo. Forza Horizon 4's best car, if you ask me. Shame there was not much you could do at X-Class, but anyway. The problem was cars that tended to like going sideways were a nightmare to handle, relegating racing duties to slower cars or stuff with high downforce. Honestly, even with the reactions of a ninja, Lewis Hamilton's driving ability and a steering wheel setup that costs more than a house in Liverpool, you could still spin. And then spin again! Fine for drifting, not so fine for racing. Admittedly, you could tweak the settings to improve the situation, and it did help. However, during the Forza Horizon 5 preview, I barely changed a thing. Just which button to use for the awesome and completely overkill Thrustmaster Sparco handbrake that I prefer as a sequential shifter. So then, is Forza Horizon 5 good with a steering wheel? Yep, you do not need to watch any more of this video or read any more of the article in the description. To be honest, my work is done. Take care, bye. Seriously though, it is looking like anyone who has a Logitech G923, Thrustmaster T300RS, Fanatic DD or whatever should have a better time than in Forza Horizon 4. The reason, which I will now explain as I drive up and down the Gran Caldera volcano like an idiot, is to do with the handling. More on that in a second. Subscribe, like, share if you would be so kind. Now, before I get burned at the stake by Microsoft, Xbox Game Studios, Turn Turn and Playground Games, please remember that all footage is from the preview. In other words, unfinished, still in development and could well be different at launch. Consider yourself told. At this point, I must point out that using a controller makes drifting and racing easier. The difficulty curve of the wheel is steeper. Volcano steep. Fishtailing is still common, particularly when using the normal steering mode and when attempting to channel your inner Ken block. However, developer adjustments have made life easier. Firstly, there is now a drift differential. Secondly, the tyre braking and suspension physics are more realistic. Thirdly, tyre smoke. Lovely, lovely tyre smoke. Anyway, back to the handling. My favourite change in Forza Horizon 5 is not the sandstorms, the sunny beaches, flamingos, lava, barn finds, Alejandra truck, Mayan temples, 526 car collection, addition of the DeLorean DMC, or even the ability to call yourself Bantosaurus Rex. Although that is all great. Nope, it's the way cars drive, you know, the thing that underpins a racing game. If you ignore all the bells and whistles, what you are really left with is the process of driving from A to B. Fast, slow, upside down, on fire, in a cloud of smoke, never arrive, your choice peeps. Forza Horizon 5 will give you points regardless. Because in Forza Horizon 4, you had overly rapid direction changes, a floaty, disconnected feel, and somewhat basic suspension and braking systems, all characteristics of an arcadey experience. In Forza Horizon 5, the arcadey handling overtones remain. In fact, I was able to do the same ridiculous burnouts using an all-wheel drive version of the Mosler MT900S. So elements of the physics system clearly remain similar or the same. What is different though, is that cars feel heavier, more real, less floaty, more intuitive, less unpredictable, slower. I still found myself facing backwards a lot as I tried to master drifting in an unmodified Toyota Supra, but for normal driving, things were more predictable. Basically, in making Forza Horizon 5 cars harder to drive, it has made driving easier because they feel more natural. That's not confusing at all. We are not talking simulator-esque levels of realism, mind you, but enough to make steering wheel driving fun. I never really felt inclined to just cruise around in Forza Horizon 4, but I found myself doing it in Forza Horizon 5. It's not just the handling improvements that make sim racing accessories perform better. 
The force feedback helps you drive to conditions. You can actually feel the tires going over cobbles in the city area. Mud and gravel, meanwhile, feel and sound loose. Manhandling the wheel as you try to counter steer just feels good. I have not tested enough cars to tell you everything will be great with a wheel, but the cars I have tried were excellent. The steering wheel I am using is the Thrustmaster TSXW with a Sparco wheel not made for drifting. That flat bottom not so good for rapid steering. I should really dig out my Fanatic CSL Elite and WRC wheel for the next videos. Anyway, as for the pedals, I was prodding the TLCM Load Cell Puppies and also the lovely but not really essential aforementioned Thrustmaster Sparco handbrake slash sequential shifter, all connected to the play seat challenge. Was it difficult to set the steering wheel up in Forza Horizon 5? No. I reduced the force feedback down to 0.7 because I already have incredible arms. Just kidding. It felt more realistic and I could drive for longer before my feeble ancient hands fell off and I died of heat exhaustion. This was after plugging in the steering wheel into the front USB port on my lovely Xbox Series X. That was it. Easy. Hopefully all wheels will be as trouble free and in theory, I would expect that. The TSXW is not as common as a Logitech G920, G29 or even the newer G923. You will have to wait for my full Forza Horizon 5 review as we head towards the November the 9th release date or the 5th for those with the deluxe edition to see if that is the case. With a lot of content missing from the Forza Horizon 5 preview, there might be new features and races that blow our minds. This is, after all, a big budget game that has had four previous generations of hindsight and technological improvement under its wing. Or should that be spoiler? I'm just not as concerned about all that because even though I did feel a sense of familiarity and repetition, the core driving gameplay brings Forza Horizon 5 to life chuck in a steering wheel, and never has a Forza game felt so immersive. And that's it for this video. I will leave you with the rest of the Forza Horizon 5 steering wheel gameplay. Subscribe, like, and share to help the channel. Take care. Bye.